Hi, excuse the state of me. I thought uh, I obviously owed it all to you to give you an update. Um, just got back from the vets. They were fabulous, uh, and obviously it's really good that I've got my my own vets. Has got this emergency vet practice that my horse box can fit into, so at least we can now you know have got somewhere to go and it make it easier for me and everything like that. Anyway. First of all, Cleopatra, thank you so much for everybody's kind words. I am obviously crying my eyes out. Um, I'm going to miss her loads. She's a very special little girl. She was chosen by spirit. She was number eight out of the litter. But at least we've got some wonderful videos of her playing and running um, and enjoying herself and being happy. Um, and that's also in my latest vlog that I haven't yet released because obviously I wanted to put out the um, vlog regarding Cleopatra. So the news was instant anyway when um they took connie in they actually said that they do believe that they found a home for um cleopatra to be looked after so i'm just so pleased about that and i you know it's, uh, hopefully that's a precious gift that and hopefully they're up here to sort her out and uh whether she you know she recovers with three legs or four or you know whatever is going to happen um that uh, she will be loved uh, which I loved her and she's going to be dearly missed and I'm sure that she's going to be in the best place possible obviously uh, <laughs> Kane Man's going on a lead now I tell you what it's just really people say why have I got my cats on leads well this is exactly why you know um, they're precious to me and when you live on the road and things like that and what's really most upsetting to me is we hardly have anybody down here, and only a few people park down here. It's not a busy road. There's somebody down here who's hit her and not admitted to it. And and that's what hurts most. Um, Or, like I say, she just sat under the car and wheels went over. I don't know. Anyway, so, Matt is not at the moment. You know, that's, that's what's happened. You know, she's in the best place possible now, and that's good. So, next we go on to Connie. Um, and that's obviously another dilemma. Um, it's been an expensive day today, uh, spending money that I was going to use to neuter the cats and um, my diesel heater money, which from the van that I, um supposed to be a bit colder for a bit longer now. Anyway, so um, Connie went in. She was a little star of everybody. Um, again, couldn't they couldn't get to open her mouth, so it took three nurses or in the end two nurses and myself to um try to hold her to get her mouth open to see what the issue is and we've uh had her all swabbed up she has got bleeding gums as we, uh, we didn't know whether it was a bad tooth or whatever it is we believe it is obviously some virus that's come down through the breeding line um but um she was just like, eating eating fine before with a baby so it's we've got two options it's either just like a, a bacterial virus and or a more serious one um, so she's had to have the swabs done um, and that's gone off to um, the lab at cost enough as it was um, to find out what level we're looking at. Um, the the medication, if it comes back with this um, more serious one, um, will be about £240 for 100 days supply. Um, and that uh, basically got like gingivitis in the teeth, bleeding gums and everything. And we just don't know if it's bacterial, whether it's more serious. Um, and if it's more serious, it usually ends up to the point where they have all their teeth removed so that they can eat. And obviously I managed to help her eat soft food at the moment, but it's painful for her. Um, so obviously we're trying to make it less painful and sort things out. And if need be, that's something that may have to be done further down the line. That, um we'll go PDSA or have to fundraise for it or something but we're not going to worry about that just yet we just wanted to get her pain free at the moment so she has got some pain medication at the moment a week's pain medication uh, which I've got to try and swinge into her mouth which is going to be so difficult because we can't open her mouth at all um, but hopefully if I get some of that into her mouth that will help her um, and then they're going to bring me in a week with the results from the lab and that'll give us the two options, whether it's a serious one or a non-serious one. If it's a non-serious one, I believe that it's just something that's just going to recover from fine. Um, if it's more the serious one, <coughs> that's when we've got to have the like the £250 pound medication um, for the 100-day supply. And she says generally after that, then they've usually recovered from it and it's usually cleared, up, cleared it all up. Um, if it then carries on worse, then that's when we've got to think about, you know, take the teeth out so help them eat and everything. So we'll see what happens. Obviously, that's just... Um, 
a work in progress at the moment. Um, I, I knew that was the option. I, I mean, like I say, she's gone from a beautiful, healthy mouth to this happening. And uh, so I knew something was wrong. So, um, like I said, I've had to wait for me to get over the COVID to sort of take her in, same as getting the kids neutered. So what I'm doing is I'm going to um, wait till I hear from the vets. I've obviously got to go back in probably to get m more meds or something done. At that point, I'm going to take... Miss Chief's going to be allowed to have a look, have her lump in her neck looked at. I spoke to her about that. She goes, that just could be the glands or something. But if it's swollen, there might be an issue with that. That could be obviously cancer. As I thought, I said, well, if that is the issue, then I can't do anything about it. But obviously, you know, they can have a little look and go with that. So it seems I've got a whole load of uh, cats in need of care. Um, and <laughs> here's what it is, isn't it, you know. Um, I love them and... and uh, I'll do my best by them. It's going to be very difficult without any money, but at least having some insight into what everything is is going to help. Um, at the moment, Cayman is the most healthiest of them all. And uh, he's been a right little cuddle puss. I'm a bit worried about his mental health, if cats have mental health issues, because obviously he's going to be missing his sister hugely. Um, so that may mean he'll cuddle up to me a bit more. We'll see what happens. So anyway, today, um, Connie has cost me... £181.81. That's purely for a week's pain relief and the swab's going off to the lab. Um, so that's obviously if she has to have the, more, the, the next lot of uh, medication, um, like I say it's going to be another £250. It's, it's an expensive procedure. Um, and like I said, I wanted to put something back into the, that vet's rather than go to PDSA. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, they've done. They've done me a beautiful favour regarding Cleopatra and if I can give some money then obviously I will obviously it's taken away from what I need to survive and help me to survive but also, I also said obviously I'd, um, it was important that I put the money into Connie as well uh, and uh, give Cleopatra the better chance hey beautiful and uh, so anyway that's your update huge huge thanks to everybody who's reaching out to me Yes, I am going to be struggling for a while, but I trust the journey and um, as long as the cats get the attention they need, then that's all that matters. And that's happening now. Oh yeah, like I said, um, when the vet rings back in a week's time with the results, I'll um, book in uh, Mischief and um, K-Man then so I can take have the, spend the day there with the lorry and uh, get, get them all seen at once. Because they've got the space for me to sort of park up there and, and, and let me stay there. So that's wonderful. And at least that's one result that I needed. I can't go to things like PDSA and drive lorry there or leave it there or travel there or anything. So I'll do as much as I can. And I best get paid more drums. So it seems like not only have I got debts to pay, I've obviously got cat medicines to pay for and uh, things to sort out now. Um, but like I say, these cats have saved my life. And I'll try and do my best to save as many of them as I can. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't put Cleopatra down. She's got a fighting chance now, so please keep praying for her and uh, keep sending the love that way. Um, gonna miss her hugely, <laughs> but I've done the best that I can. Anyway, thanks everybody, and I'll keep you updated. Bye for now.